Who should the Niners re-sign this offseason? Final topic. Hmm. And if you can't Fred think of Warner. some names, I got to. Got to. Fred Warner. No question about it. No. And he's going to be expensive. I, I think he's going to be more expensive than DeForest Buckner. Yeah. He will be. He will be. But I think that he worth the money. I agree. And if we are going with a with a rookie quarterback, we can afford that money. Because yeah. he's a leader and he's durable. He's never missed a game. The Niners, you guys have a problem with players <laughs> missing games. Stop giving money to people who aren't all, always on the field. Yes, Fred Warner won. What about Trent Williams? Yeah, it's the face wow. I that's the face I make. I mean, you kind of have to. You don't really want to. Yeah, but if we are looking at the contracts that the left tackles has and are getting this season from teams. Dude, he's going to be more expensive financial. than Warner. Yeah, yeah. And that's a financial horror story for a guy who is good. Good. Not good. a leader. He's okay. good. And he doesn't necessarily play 16 games a year. Yeah, he's good. He's a little overrated. When he came here, people were like, this guy is not a human being. Okay, he is the <laughs> greatest football player of all time. And I was expecting to see him just like, you know, eviscerate people. It's like, no, no, he's holding his own most of the time. You know what? I would give him a one plus five year deal. Okay. Okay. All right. And I think that's, that, that's fair because um, we can say that he was rusty this year. Sure. Fair. And he they got no more. They got no backup. They got no yep. plan B. They don't have, they got to draft a, a quarterback and a corner this year. I mean, it's tough. And that they, they could have taken one this year instead of Javon Kinlaw, but they decided to go deep line and Kinlaw's cool. Um, but there's more, there's more guys. Uh, use check, Tart, not Tart. Use check, McKinnon, check. Coleman. Oh, uh, Mac McKinnon and Coleman. I Born. Born. sign. <laughs> Born. Uh, well, you know what? I would say that if we can draft a wide receiver in the second or the third round, we should do that every year. Hmm. Like the Seattle Steelers. Yeah, the, the, Steelers the Steelers do it. The Steelers do it. Yeah. End we, of the second, second beginning of the third. Year. Yeah. Yep. It's and, a great spot. And we should draft a cor uh, cornerback. Every year, agree, and I would take third. the corner ahead of the ahead of the yep. wide receiver. But yep. That's me. Yep. 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 Um, so I would just let uh, Jet Born go. and Coleman Thanks, Born. and Born go. Yeah. Uh, I would say that I would try to keep Caius check, but with a massive pay cut because um, what we we are paying for him right now. Yeah. With the uh, with the times that he gets the ball. I wouldn't pay for that much money for a guy. We signed him for so expensive because the 49ers were nowhere when we signed him and it was hard to get good free agents into this team. Yep, uh, correct, correct. But that time is over. So if if Kai Juszczyk wants to, to stay with this organization, uh, he has to agree with the pay cut. But Fair. I would, but I would resign him. And it already kind of seems like they're transitioning away from him. They don't even use him that much anymore. Yeah. So it's like they're either like planning for life without him or trying to drive down his value right now. So they can go yeah. to the they can go to the the uh, negotiating table after the season and be like, hey, you didn't get the ball very much. And he's like, well, yeah, you didn't give me the ball. I'm like, well, hey, look, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> that's semantics. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Anyone else that they that's going to be a free agent that they got to make a decision about? Mm. Oh, how about Jason Verrett, Richard Sherman? The entire yeah. secondary, Mosley. Mosley, yeah. K1. Um, wow. Mosley's restricted. The others are uh, unrestricted. Well, you know what? I would let uh, Quan go. K1, K1. I would too. Go. He's good. I would let him go. He was great. He's a great guy. He's a great player. But right now, I don't miss him. I just no. Uh, Jamar Taylor's been my, fine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he was he was decent. Fine. I I yeah. must say, um, besides the game against the Dolphins where he were bad, but he was bad. But right now he's good. Yeah, he's good in that position. I think. Well, uh, I would resign Jason Verrett. Me too. Uh, and I would give him a deal like I would give to Trent Williams one plus five year deal because maybe we just 
watching a one year wonder from him because we know that he is so injury prone that I wouldn't be surprised if he are he's going to get injured again. I agree. So, I'd like to see him finish the season before I give him a, an offer. I was on a I was on a a podcast a couple of days ago and someone was like, "Should the Niners give Verrett an extension right now? Like right now, right now?" I was like, "No, I'd like to see him play no six more games, please." Yep, yep, no way. Yeah, no. no way. I would keep mostly because uh he Me proved too. that he's good he's uh, solid i would yeah he's, he's solid he's all, yeah he's all right yeah. he's not great he's not as good as Verrett, but he's pretty good as he is getting he is getting better and i think I that's the key because he's just still a young guy i think yeah and um richard sherman hmm. Well, you know when he played for the seahawks i mm. hated him i hated him so much but I've had tons of respect for Richard Sherman because uh, even though he was the greatest, one of the greatest trash talkers of all time, he he yes he just, yes he just he ate the turkey while uh, he was using a 49ers uniform to make himself clean. But <laughs> but after you know what he developed his uh, himself so much uh, as a man. When he got into the 49ers, he's mm. he he is not like the Richard Sherman that he was in the Seattle Seahawks. He he became a leader, and I think that even though most of the people say uh, that uh, they would just not resign him, I would resign him. Interesting. I would Interesting. resign him because because that defense needs leaders like Richard Sherman in every uh, position group. And True. They have, have no. They have no one over thirty that's a leader on that team. No. Armstead is not a leader. Warner's a leader, but he's twenty-four. Yeah, that's a good point. I would resign him, and you know what? Uh, the main reason why I would resign him, besides of that, is last time when we signed him, and he was still an elite uh, cornerback with an Achilles injury. Uh, he he signed a contract which wasn't so big. Mm -hmm. So it was it was just okay financially, and uh, if they can just uh, agree with a contract like that, I would say okay, come back. Well, here's the thing with Sherman. I'm I'm more negative with him, but when the Niners have Nick Bosa and you know whoever the other edge rusher is going to be next year, Tack McKinley, whoever, plus uh, second year Kinlaw and motivated Armstead, he's going to look great. I mean, yeah. Richard Sherman behind a gr a great four man pass rush is elite yeah. because he doesn't have to worry about double moves. He doesn't have to worry about long crossing routes. He can kind of jump routes. He knows the ball has to come out quick. That pass rush makes him elite. If this year though, without that four man pass rush, he could get exposed on double moves and things like that. But again, what you're saying, next year, different makeup, different team. You made a good a, a good case. I would probably let him go. I'm all about taking the corner in the first round. Uh, and I want a big corner. I want someone like Sherman, yep. but young, who can run and can actually cover Hopkins and Metcalf as, as difficult as that's going to be to find. But you make a good point. You almost swayed me, Botan. You almost – that was good. I like that. 